Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the Rap Palette. I got a special one today. I want to talk about T-Pain. He's a beloved rapper from Florida, and we love him so much. And I want to talk about the rise and fall of T-Pain, um, his journey in life, what is he doing now, what happened to him, and how he became broke. The I um I think it was um Icon Music Group or um I forgot what the music group but he was signed I now I'm going to explain how T Pain went from forty million dollars to borrowing money to buy fast food. I'm gonna explain how he lost his million and it's crazy because um you know I mean he's from Tallahassee Florida very talented still think one of the best and he went through some pitfalls we all go through now T Pain who was born Fahim Rashid Najim. I, uh, I'm not sure if he's Muslim. He was not only a musician, but an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, like many other of his contemporaries, Jay-Z or Rihanna. And he had um, interesting multiple businesses in his career. He first got into music as a child, spent some time with a music producer friend, and he would later convert his bedroom into a makeshift studio in the early 2000s. He made a grand entry into the music game with collaborations from Akon. He later released... His album, um, Rapper Tenor Singer, in the late 2005, if I'm not mistaken, which became an instant hit. And y'all know that song, Shawty, you know what i That was my joint. That was my joint. That, sh- that thing hit globally. Now, since then, you know what I mean? He was featured on a number of art with a number of artists. Chris Brown, Flo Rida, DJ Khaled, um, even Kanye West, you know what I mean? And even winning Grammys twice, you know I me mean, with Jamie Foxx and with Kanye, his success in the music industry did bring quite a lot of money. In his own words, on a um, Breakfast Club interview, he became wealthy. However, the series of bad investments and poor um, habits, you know, I mean, still had a poverty mindset, left him with zero dollars in the bank. It started with an interview recently. The 35-year-old revealed that. He could be 40 now, if I'm not mistaken, that he had to borrow money from friends to treat his children to Burger King, according to him, which I know that probably was the lowest moment in, in his life to having to have to do that. A person once who had $40 million mansion, one in Atlanta, one in Florida. And, you know, what I mean, and reflecting on him having $40 million in his account and lose it all due to poor investments and decisions in spending hammers. Now he said he knows what's um, the high end and what's the low end. You know what I mean? Meaning, in other words, being on top and being on and being in the bottom. And he explained that he's been mega rich and super broke right in the middle of thinking I was mega rich and that um, he'll get rich again. You know, learning from your mistakes really is what it takes. And he's in, he even mentioned on learning how to uh, manage money. That's what the most important thing. So, you know, <clears throat> he said majority of all this in, on the Breakfast Club interview, and that's the thing. But um, let's get down on the detail on how this thing happened. T-Pain had disclosed that he had bought his first home, which was um, which was very expensive. Apart from the 1.2 million Bugatti, the, um, that Bugatti, which had been abandoned for five months due to a fault, um, was the beginning of his financial rose at that point. He said he was running out of money and his accountant was like, yo, you just bought a Bugatti. You're out of money. And I was like, no, I'm not. I got the house. Um, you know what I mean? I want to get this, this, um, this other house for my assistant, my runners, my producers, my staff, T-Pain, T-Pain share. He said that after buying the house, he just started to going crazy with money. This, this all happens from people who come from impoverished neighborhoods and don't understand the fundamentals of money management, budgeting, and stuff like that. And a lot of rappers go through that. And a lot of rappers are going through that now. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all who's buying these scat packs and these Hellcats and these track carts and these TRXs, play with it, $60,000, $70,000, $80, okay? Then he goes and said that he wasn't even paying attention and thought that if he had access to his own accounts, that I would have um to take a look at it. Initi- uh, essentially, T-Pain and his team squandered money on real estate. I was letting my manager do it, and he was way more optimistic than he was about it. He would um buy complete dumps and think they were just they could just paint it. However, T Pain claimed that in an interview that his um he's currently financially stable, adding that he does not tend to chase after forty million dollars. And I think right now he's worth about ten million, 
And um, he stated that once you um, give as give us the money or you lose the money that you're making, then you feel much better about your accomplishment. After you went through all of this, he said you feel better about doing what you're doing and paying attention about your money and being financially stable and inclined. In addition, T. Payne said he learned about um, sound financial management skills and paying attention to projects he's executing. He added that he also find a way to balance the time between his family and his hustle. And he says, um, he also quotes this. He says, I'm not chasing 40 million anymore. The money I'm making now, I'm just making it. I'm not trying to make it. The 40 million, I was hustling. Um, I needed to be on everybody's record and every record had to go number one. I got to work to do this. At this time, I don't know. I didn't know my family at all. According to him, his proudest moment has been providing his wife, Amber, Najim, and his three kids, um, music, lyric, and cadence. He said, awards always are great, but in the long run, it doesn't really say who you are. I'm more concerned about my family, my kids, and my wife, and making sure I could provide for them. And this was a good lesson to learn. And that was the rise and fall and the awakening of T-Pain, because he has found himself again. I hope you like this. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and share this video. Peace.